Hello everyone, this is Beno Farin for Ben Explorer and in this multi-part tutorial we are going to create this cool effect. I will focus on applying the effect to text. This can be used for generating titles, for example. I recognize that there are plenty of examples out there providing similar effects. However, most examples do not provide an easy way to make changes to the effect once it has been applied. In this three-part tutorial, I'm using the free Saber effect plugin from Video Copilot and I show how to apply this effect to each letter path sequentially. I will also show you how to create a controller. This gives you a way to quickly make changes to your scene and you can do this without touching the text, the beam or the background. There is a lot to cover here, so I've broken this tutorial into three parts. In the first part of this tutorial, I will show you how to apply Saber effect to text and how to apply this effect to each letter one after the other. I will provide you a script that can be used to reverse mask paths. I will create a custom background using fractal noise. This spices up the final look. In the second part of the tutorial, I will go through expressions. Expressions are used to automate the process and to animate properties. I will show you how to create a beam and apply an expression to the beam so that it precisely follows the text as the text gets traced by the saber effect. And finally, in the third part of this tutorial, I will create a controller. The controller automates the changes made to the scene and I will cover two methods. The first method uses expression controls. This method is straightforward but can become cumbersome as the number of controls increases. The second method uses pseudo effects. I will show you how to create your own effect. This turns a set of disorganized controls into a well-structured list to better manage the scene. I am using the Saber effect in this tutorial. Saber is a great third-party effect which is developed by Video Copilot. This effect can be used to create lightsabers, lasers, hazes, energy beams, and so on. And best of all, this effect is totally free. If you want to follow me through these tutorials, I would strongly advise you to install Saber Effect in your version of After Effects. To verify whether the effect is already installed or not, make sure that you have a layer selected, navigate to Effect, go all the way down and look for Video Copilot in the menu. Click on it and you should see Saber listed in the flyout. If you do not see it here, then go ahead and install it. This is straightforward. Open your browser and navigate to videocopilot.net. By the way, this site is extremely rich. Andrew Kramer and his team are building awesome extensions to After Effects. They also provide a forum and much, much more. I certainly advise you to come back to this site. But for now, stay with me and click on blog. In the search box, type Saber. Video Copilot provides a great tutorial on how to use Saber. This is definitely worth a look at, but not quite necessary for my tutorial as I'll walk you through the steps. Scroll down. There is a version for Windows and for Mac. Download the file. You'll need to uncompress the file. Then just run the installer and relaunch After Effects and you should be done. Your effect menu should now list a new entry, Video Copilot, and Saber should now show up here. This is a fun tutorial and I bet you'll learn a lot from it. So I hope that you will be joining me soon.